Hello Heathcliff, it's me, it's Cathy, I've come home only joking, it's Jim Sterling here and this is Submerged. Submerged. It's made in Australia and it's not got combat in it, I know that much, let's play it shall we? So yeah, this is one of those um, games that pride themselves on having no combat. Uh, so, we, so we'll see how that goes. It's a uh, third person, as far as I can tell from the screenshots and whatnot. So... Let's see what this is all about then. There's a boat. Two people on it. Looks pretty. Some nice colour to it, which I always like to see. Nice little wind effects and stuff. See, it looks pretty decent, visually. Nice music as well. You could almost expect it to be one of those uh, PS3 slash PS4 indie games at the moment. Those ones that get 10 out of 10 game of the year. Not always undeserved, I should point out, if you think I'm being uniformly sarcastic there. Okay. Get up, you lazy pricks. That kid looks fucked up, doesn't he? Toss it in the river, get a new one. That one's done for, mate. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming this is the right place. Looks like the kind of place where you keep a sick kid. There we are, there's a little diamond. Right. Right, that's that thing taken care of. Oh shit, he got gashed up! She took her kid out for drinks in Croydon. That's a bad idea. That is literally what happens every single time. Go down that shit karaoke bar they got, or the uh, the goose, or whatever it's called, the pub. Need something to stop Taku's bleeding. It looks alright, that looks scabbed over, mate. Our story. The city story, creation landmark, right. What the fuck? It's a big old whale. It kind of didn't really look like it was interacting with the water in any way. There we go, there we got some ripples going. Still looks a bit weird, but what can you do? Right, I guess get on the boat. Boat over, climb that building. Hell, we can do that. That will not be a problem. Lioness Hotel. So it's basically like Waterworld, but without Dennis Hopper. Oh, that's, oh so that's the map. Helps to have a map. Always good to know. Okay, so there's no jumping or anything. It's all stick based. So I've just got to move the stick towards the ledge and up she grabs it. Oop, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Grabby, grabby, grabby. 
Round the corner. No yeah, bother. Right. Some bugs. That's pretty clearly communicated. Yeah, she instantly does all the jumping and everything as well. Don't have too big a problem with that. Most most climby climby stuff in games like this are busy work anyway. Got a swirly. Okay, yeah, there's there's literally no way to fall off that. Again, that's fine. I can't be bothered with falling off things. Who can? Right, flags. Oh, I guess not. I mean, if you want flags to stop the bleeding or whatever, I mean, that would do it. So we're going to get higher up. Oh, even better. I thought she was just going to use the cloth on the old flags there. Alright. That's some stuff. Go touching it and poking it. You've done your job, leave them alone. Yep. Spear a fish, eat a dinner. Gotcha. Find more of those crates. I don't know what that means. I can't just go around relying on crates. Maybe there's something I can use up there. Maybe. Maybe so. Well, I guess we'll boat on over. this? What's this bollocks? Okay, that's us using the boost. I mean, it's definitely got a lot more going for it than Wanda did. That was that other explorative, non-combat thing that really just turned out to be a load of wank. Oh, one of eight. That's good. Still not sure exactly what I think of it, but... Um, there's a 
we'll go for that crate. It's uh, this building, isn't it? The Rungholt Memorial Library. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 I can see that. Right. Outside. Oh shit, what's that? It's nothing to worry about. Non combat, innit? So that bloke can go do whatever the fuck he likes. So, I mean, you know, it's relatively pretty from a design standpoint. Nice music. I appreciate the, the kind of laid-back nature of it as you explore. But, I don't know, it does feel somewhat lacking. Not, not terrible, but, you know, I'm not hugely into it, shall we say. Oh, and the controls on this are just hands. Come on. There we go. Right. The goldy stuff mean anything? Nah. Stop it, a-hole dog. Shimmy shimmy. Everyone's having a giggle. <gasps> it's another one of those blokes. What you doing over there, bloke? Fucked off. How do you fuck off? Okay. My dog just had an episode, so I'm going to have to try and do this as best I can. I'm trying to keep him calm at the same time. Because I, I work in a very professional recording environment. The kind of which you'd see on Kind of Funny Games. Or the Angry Joe Show. I don't have to deal with this shit. Why should I? Oh, he's off again. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. What the fuck are these blokes are doing? They just fuck off all the time. Whoa! No, 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 no. The wrong building. Oh, I, I did see a bit of a zip wire the other side, so we should be all right. Okay, just had to put the dog up and uh, bar his sort of side view in his bed so that you can't see the fucking window. It's just some of the fun stuff I deal with in the course of my day. Oh my god, just, why can't you just jump over? Go on, get up there, you bastard. Go on! I'm in a bloody mood now. I'm not in the mood for this person's horse shit. Yeah. More charts and graphs coming out the water. I know they're supposed to be plants. <sighs> Goes another one of them fellas. They're just annoying at this point. Passive aggressive. That's what all that is. How is she not destroying her hands? My god, she'd be fucked if there weren't all these crates full of modern medical supplies lying around the place. God, 
ourselves a lighter. When you find one, you start from the beginning again, I guess. Look at them. They're like the stone men in that old uh, Song of Ice and Fire, isn't it? Put some of that cloth over him, maybe, if he's cold and shivering. That can't be comfortable for her. That'll play merry hell with her back. Right. Bloke, water, cloud, drowning. Well, that's fairly morbid, but that's okay. Oh no, we get the point, he's still proper fucked. Oh. He's looking for Taku to drink. What about all of this shit? I wonder where that lands. Who fucking knows? Didn't go quite how I imagined it would. Alright, what we got? Nothing. Well, I'm gonna go see what this is all about anyway. do with a run button. I don't think I've seen any sort of sprinting. Yeah, she just kind of jogs along. Okay. That's about it. As far as I can see. Loads of those crates. Ooh, that's got to be something. Actually, I was going to go round, but it's quite a long building, so we'll go back here and. So I guess this is basically the, the main thrust of the game. Vote around, look for things. Can you look at the animals with... Yeah. Found the whale. Via the medium of the telescope. Found that and all. And what we need to do is try and get one of those uh, weird fish blokes. New upgrade. Oh, I've got the fucking pelicans. Feeling pretty good about that. There we go. Oh, 
Got a longer boot boast. Did I say boot boast? I think I said boot boast rather than boat boost. Oh well. We'll live with the embarrassment forever, won't we? Yup, Eclipse State, gotcha. Got ya. Oh good. The yeehard is being done outside. <sighs> right by the window. Brilliant. Well, if you'd like to uh, support this shoddy example of terrible worksmanship that is my channel, uh, feel free to go over to sharkrobot.com and uh, check out some of the t-shirts that are there. The Jimquisition t-shirts that are there. Don't worry, I'm not just advertising Shark Robot. Um, I've got my own shirts up on there. There is a Jimquisition partner store. Oh god, there's one. No, don't you... Oh, you fuck. You fuck. What a piss weasel. So we go this way. God. But I've got to go all the way. Oh no, I don't have to go all the way back. I guess we can use that ledge. I think I might have even taken the unnecessarily long way around anyway. Go on. There we go. Save a bit of time, innit? Oh, not much time. Not as much time as I thought. Okay, fair enough. So I guess really the question is, as to whether or not you think this game is worth it, is do you think this, what I'm doing now, will hold your attention for however much longer it takes? I mean, you've, you saw how many crates there are to get. More or less guess that it'll take as long, if not longer, to get all of them, and then ask yourself, could I see myself doing this? For that entire length of time. Something tells me I would probably enjoy doing it for about half the... Ah, I was too busy talking. Oh, no, I got him! Ha <laughs> ha, you prick. You leaf-shouldered dick. Got him. Right. Sorry, what was I saying? Yeah. I can see myself enjoying this for a while, but I can't see myself, you know, going the whole way on this one. I mean, maybe I will. Maybe I'll try and do a full written review, we'll see. But, I don't know. As I said, it's got more to it than Wanda, but then Wanda was basically bereft. So it's not a, a huge measure of content. I appreciate what it's going for. You know, I appreciate the uh, the atmosphere and everything that it's... Oh no, that's just a ledge there. That it's going to... You know, it's aiming to have. By far one of the better games we've played in the past few days. Again, not a... Not a particularly high bar. Didn't get the crate yet, because that resets us. I find that annoying, the resetting thing. Like, I'd rather just, like, go out and get loads of crates, you know? Water. I'm guessing no matter what crate you find first, It'll be there. Unless the other ones are hidden until you, you know, get them in order. I don't know. That'd be a bit of a shame if that were the case. <gasps> there they are again having a look. Sly bastards. Oh shit, her hands are proper fucked. 
Oh, she's done poor too. They're all going to turn into those stupid fellas, aren't they? Don't touch your mouth with it. That's grotesque. Coffin. Get drunk at the funeral. Pass out at the funeral while your family eat a fish. Y'all just done for, mate. Throw both of you into the river. So anyway, that's submerged. It's something to feed. It, it I, I guess that's more or less the the setup. Need something to feed, Taku. Need some new pantaloons for Taku. Need some tacos for Taku. So that's that. That's submerged. Uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's it's nicely made, it's got a nice feel to it, but but it's not, not, not exactly thrilling, you know. I always look at Journey as sort of the gold standards of, as, of these types of games. That game, you know, constantly changed its atmosphere, changed its environment, had these sweeping moments of excitement and speed along with the quiet reflective moments a lot of the ones that come out that sort of pride themselves on this non-combat exploration stuff don't touch your mouth are uh, very very monotone you know they kind of they set a pitch and then they just keep that pitch which which i think is is what leads so many of them to kind of stumble, whereas games like Journey and, and Flower, you know, that that game company's examples uh, tend to succeed. But that's just me. That's just me. Can you climb up there? Yeah, you can. I guess that leads somewhere. Yeah, look, it goes all the way up. But we're not going to find out what's up there, or at least you aren't right now, because I'm going to go. So, I'll see you later. Bye.